Well, I, I, I think, first of all, the, the fact that Joe Biden's had to play the Barack Obama card so early in the campaign, even before he claims the nomination, uh, indicates how weak the Biden campaign is. Uh, I've seen survey data that shows that a third to half of uh, Democrats who plan on voting in November are going to vote for Biden, but wish they had a better choice. Um, Barack Obama is the first Democratic president since Lyndon Johnson to win the White House, um, I believe, with a majority of the with a majority of the vote. Jimmy Carter may have just barely done it at fifty point one percent. You know, the, the, the Biden campaign is weak. Um, Trump has a lot of problems right now. The, the, the economic strife from the lockdown, um, the, the, the issues related to the coronavirus, um, the, the riots in the streets. Um, Biden should be leading by huge margins. And in most of the reliable polls, um, the race is relatively close, certainly closer than it should be. Um, and, you know, at, at this point, in 1988, for example, George Herbert Walker Bush, vice president to the very popular Ronald Reagan, was running, running 14 points behind Mass, then Massachusetts Governor Michael Dukakis, his Democratic opponent in November. Bush came back to, to win a landslide in the Electoral College. You know, it's, it's way too early to predict the way that the campaigns are, are going to play out. But I will say again, that playing the Obama card so early indicates how weak the Biden campaign is. Uh, you've heard that from Republicans and Democrats alike, and you will continue to hear that. I have read Mr. Bolton's book. I have a lot of respect for Mr. Bolton, but he is trying to sell books right now. Uh, and so uh, there's, a, there's a lot of hype going on. I do want to um, answer something that my distinguished colleague um, said However, um, the people who are rioting in the streets are not Trump supporters. Um, they may be lukewarm on Joe Biden, but they live ideologically on his side of the street. And the cities that are having the biggest problems, cities like San Francisco and Minneapolis and Atlanta and Chicago have been run by Democrats for 30 and 40 and 50 years. So the Democratic, no one favors the social injustice. No one in the country came out and advocated for, in favor of the treatment of George Floyd. We are unanimously against it. But the, the, the inability to in riots, that lives with the mayor's 